because I love Mississippi. Mississippi is home. It is what, I, as my pastor said, what I'm built for. Uh, my entire life has reflected a desire to protect, a desire to serve. If my mom was here this morning, she would tell you a story about when I was in the third grade and I came home and I said to her, Mom, I'm going to be a crossing guard because I want to make sure my classmates <laughs> She would tell that story. She would go on to tell you that when uh, I was in college that I came home and said, Mom, I'm Private Riley now because I had joined the Army to protect and defend the Constitution of, the great, of, 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 of this great nation. Those uh, who may have been represented by me along the way will tell you that I am passionate about the law. And I believe that the law is intended to serve and protect the people. As much as I can, uh, let, me, let me say, since you have mentioned the ACLU, the ACLU is a nonpartisan organization, and it does not uh, oppose or support any candidate, including me, the executive <laughs> director of the ACLU. Uh, as long as I can, I will continue to uh, do the work of the ACLU, that work for which I, I, I too feel like I am called. I feel like it is a continuation of what I have been called to. Uh, when I'm elected attorney general, however, the board will find a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, let, me, let, me, let me answer your question by first thanking uh, Attorney General Jim Hood for his many, many years of service to the state of Mississippi. Attorney General Hood and Attorney General Mike Moore before him laid a wonderful foundation. I plan on building on, what has, on that foundation that has already been laid. So I do not have a desire to go in and undo or updo anything. I want to go in and continue to continue to move Mississippi forward. Yeah. Although, if I could answer that question by saying that I was good in the military, I was good what I, at what I did, and I was able to attain the rank of colonel. Uh, I was told at my retirement that only two percent of the officers, regardless of what your session is, whether that is. Uh, the military academies, ROTC, officer candidate school, only 2% of the officers throughout the Army make that rank. And so I'm proud of that. But I will tell you, I didn't make that rank because the military made me. I made that rank because of what God had already put in me. Amen. And so I want to build on those things. The Bible talks about using the talents that God has given you. What I choose to do is continue to use those talents and to be about the work of my father, protecting and serving all Mississippians. Amen. Amen. Amen.